Hello, everyone, and welcome to Left of Meta. The idea behind this series is to highlight some decent to good sets that can be good for either newer players who want a good starting point to work from, or for older players who just want to mess around and look at some of the sets that aren't Reliquin, Sororia, Yolnikrin, and Olarime for their DPS tanks and healers. And before we get into the actual sets, a couple of very quick ground rules. First off, these sets will always be Overland PvP crafted sets or base game dungeons. And they will be tested alongside other sets, which will be listed in the video and linked in the description below. For the most part, those sets will be Leviathan from Crypt of Parts and the Maelstrom Bow for stamina characters, Mother Sorrow from Deshaun and the Maelstrom Staff for Magicka characters, Spell Power Cure and the Master's Resto Staff from White Gold Tower for healers, and Evan Armory for tanks. This video also includes the Mauve the Infernal monster set found in Veteran Banished Cells 2. And with that out of the way, let's roll into today's set. This week's set is, is called Medusa. It is found in the Arx Coronium dungeon in the Shadowfen zone. This set gives the following benefits. At two items, it gives 657 spell critical. At three items, it gives 657 spell critical. At four items, it gives 657 spell critical. And at five items, it gives 892 spell critical and grants minor force at all times, increasing your critical damage by 10%. All in all, this is a very good crit set. It is a grand total of 13% total critical chance, which, for comparison, Mother Sorrow, the baseline set that I use as crits, only gives 12.9% crit chance. Plus, this also gives you minor force at all times, which frees up one of your skills to run either another damage skill or another utility or heal. The biggest downside to this, however, is that it drops only in a heavy armor set. Which means if you're optimizing for DPS, you want to farm for jewelry and weapons, which, because this is a dungeon, is going to take a solid minute. All in all, this is a very, very good set. It is a ton of critical, it is major force, and both of those things combined on one of your sets is pretty darn good. So this set is definitely worth picking up as a Magicka DPS. However, if you're picking it up, you're probably going to be spending a lot of time in the dungeon because you need to get be getting jewelry and weapons specifically. And we all know that jewelry is expensive to upgrade, so that can be problematic at times. But all in all, really good set worth picking up. That'll be all for this week. Join us next week where we talk about the set Torog's Pact. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. And until then, good luck, stay safe, and don't die.